great honor. Festival Masquerade Popcorn Film Festival is such a great place to meet the crowds and interact with uh, the audiences with uh, more independent cinema. And I want to thank uh, Florence Tuliatos, the founder of this festival, for making this happen. So it was really a great experience to have done this, having had the luxury, the privilege of having someone, an artist, a film director, someone who has won so many incredible awards around the world and seen in us because in the end we have not gone to acting class. I mean, we work in the world of fetishism. I'm used to taking my clothes off and pleasing people however I could. And actually, so does my best friend, Holy Scar, as, uh, well, <clears throat> he's everything, like pole dancer, everything. Would you like to talk a bit? <laughs> hey. About your pole, that is. Yeah, so... <laughs> I'm also pole dancing, fire performer, as you can see in the video. Then fire breathing, flashing, double staff, staff, boy, contact staff, and stuff. <laughs> and uh, it was the first time as an uh, artist that doing a mainstream video that can go like, over the fish scene. And I think it was just awesome, that experience with Patrice Achica. Then uh, also that just complete uh, what I'm doing as an artist. I'm also a tattoo artist. Then, um, scene performer and now actors, then I want just to say thank you to you. We're filming right now uh, one of the fire scenes of Tangled Forest. Fire! We filmed a fire scene with Holy Scar and the Richard. And they had this concept of having wings because they are the dark angels and the wings caught fire. Give me eight seconds. Okay. Right, it's get too hot. Are you? Yeah, yeah, it's very hot. Take it off, take it off. Yeah, me too. Take it off. I know, I'm trying. I can only deal with one at a time. Okay, so Alectua, Alectua. Uh, we did uh, fire wings that just burn on ourselves. Trust me. I don't want this. I don't want this effect. It was very scary, actually. And then I decided that's it. I'm not going to uh, do that scene anymore. I don't want anybody to get hurt. And we stopped the filming because uh, I'm not going to put my actors at risk just to get a good shot, you know? Yeah, the wings are toast. Yeah, I was scared of the wings, Why, like, what? because I could like really burn myself with that. Because I can't get it off by myself, so I depend on the help of someone else that was already doing like helping Richard to get his own huff. Yeah, that's why Fire Phoenix was there, like to protect us from the flames. Yeah, well, this guy was amazing. Yeah. He really took care of us and uh, created this wall of fire. It was so beautiful. That's my Thanks to you for uh, trusting my vision. Laurence? Quelques mots?
Ah oh non, ça, ça va être pire. Ben, merci pour la, la chance, l'expérience. Ça s'est très bien passé. J'avais pas grand chose à faire à part French un homme de 40 ans. Mais ça s'est très bien passé. Ben, T'as bien fait ça, Laurence. OK. Ça prend du courage. And I also have a scoop. Uh, this is a, the first time I'm going to announce it publicly. It's going to go on Facebook right after when I get home. So you have the scoop. Uh, I'm shooting my next film, Ceramic Tango. It's written by Charles Hall, a Toronto screenwriter. I optioned the script about six months ago and got rejected everywhere because the subject matter is too dark, like the things I love, right? So I didn't get any funding for it, and I'm going to self-finance this short, and we're going to be shooting it at the end of September. It's a film uh, that it's very dark and uh, greedy about uh, some, somebody who uh, got AIDS and how they deal with it. No, but that's okay. That's the tagline. So it's the, it's the duel between a man and, and his alter ego. And first, when I started developing this project, I had all professional actors who wanted to play in it. My casting was done with actor members and everything. And the budget was something like $125,000. Didn't get, I got zero money for it. And I have to shoot non-union. And then I thought, wow, what a blessing not to get the funding. I'm free. I can do whatever I want. No conventions, no, no unions. I can hire whoever I want who wants to work with me. And of course, I'm announcing that the two actors will be the Richard and Holly in their first cinema role. Yeah. And you know what? I just want to say something. It, it was a blessing because they are perfect for the roles. I cannot find actors in the professional mainstream world who look like this and who are, have these personalities. So, <laughs> and this charisma and also chemistry between each other, the, the two actors must be able to, ca to carry this duality of being gay and straight at the same time, to be sexual and non-sexual, to be dark and light. And I think they can do this and they prove it to me while I was directing them on Tangle Forest. So this is the scoop. Uh, this is my cast for a Ceramic Tango, my next film. This is uh, Richard Robitaille, a well-known actor in Montreal. He accepted to play a yes. role in this video. Well, of course, because it's with you. Oh, thank darling. you. I play the ex of the lead uh, singer, Kelly Badrick, and um, she's not too happy with what I've done because uh, there's somebody else. And we have Holly Scar playing uh, one of the guardian angels. How do you feel about your role? It's kind of being me, but in front of a camera. <laughs> so look, this is one of the scenes you, you will be doing with Kelly. And it's very sensual. Uh, I want you to interact with Kelly kind of like a protector. So what you're doing is worshipping her. It's good to have you on the shoot. Thank you for coming. It's good to be on the shoot. We'd like to offer Patricia uh, in 2013 uh, the opportunity to become our official spokesperson. So um, we'd love for Patricia to be the official spokesperson for Mascara and Popcorn because she is Mascara and Popcorn. I mean, there isn't anyone else in Montreal. We have many artists, many filmmakers, but I truly feel that she is the uh, filmmaker documentarist that will best represent the festival and where we're coming from and what where we're going to do and where what direction we're trying to take mascara and popcorn is glam it's a cinema it's trash it's uh, what people don't see on mainstream screens so there is a lot of uh, there are a lot of artists in the uh, in this world who need a platform like Mascara and Popcorn Film Festival. So thank you very much. I'm very honored, Florence. We 
we are at the church. This is the last scene of the day and um, I think someone is gonna get married today. Are you the one getting married? Maybe. Maybe. But don't tell us with who. Mm. We'll find out when the video comes out. And action! Just love me the Oh, that was nice. That's it. We got it. Thank you. We just did some camera and lighting movements synchronized with the music and it worked so well. I'm excited. I work both in the mainstream television world and the cinema, independent cinema world. As an artist myself, an author, a filmmaker, I like to um, explore themes uh, that are non-conventional. And that's why I think uh, I really suit well within the Mascara and Popcorn Film Festival realm. Um, my work is very... Um, tends to be a little darker than the mainstream films. And one of my passions is to explore the darker side of the human experience, to also give a voice to people who have different lifestyles, especially the alternative lifestyles. And also, um, I like to uh, promote uh, alternative arts like burlesque, like fetish artists, uh, rockabilly artists, uh, musicians, rock and roll, and a lot of the local uh, Montreal scene, uh, and internationally as well. So, um, because when I make a film that I do from the heart, I have to be in love with the subject matter. And I'm a non-conventional girl. I follow different lifestyles that I'm passionate about. So, on my YouTube page, it's called Chicatronica and Facebook, Patricia Chica, Twitter, Patricia Chica. Uh, you can follow me 24-7. I'm always uh, putting new content uh, daily. So uh, for those who don't know me, they can just Google my name and find me. I'll be on the web for sure. Thank you very much. And I wanted to thank you both. And uh, we will see um, on Fetish Weekend, one of uh, Patricia Chica's uh, video clip, and uh, that's pretty much it. So have a nice evening. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. It's a wrap. Long day, but totally worth it. You got every shot in that you wanted to get. Yeah. So I am impressed. I am thankful, and I am so glad that you're a part of my video world. It's going to be a great music. Video. It's going to be awesome. Thank you for your energy. You had great spirit and great performance. Well, I had a great director, so it made it easy. <laughs>